Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Thomas with TMWYT. Back again here in my garage. We have my little cousin Josh and his Mark 7 GTI with the trunk popped. Because today we are going to be building a custom fiberglass sub box, sub enclosure, however you want to call it. And we are going to replicate the one in mine. So there is my sub box. You can see it's a custom fit into the side of the trunk. And funny enough, Mark 7 has the exact same thing back here. So this is where we're going to be building his sub box right there. We're going to do a custom fiberglass back so it molds in with all those curves back there. And then we are going to do an MDF front plate and it's going to be an awesome sub setup. And basically here is the equipment that he's got. This is a Rockford Fosgate Mono 750. Brand new amp. And then we have a Rockford Fosgate P310. And it's got this big, ugly box. It takes up so much room. It is a border box, so we've got a little bit more sound moving on this one rather than the enclosed box that we're gonna do. But this will still be a great setup and it'll save him a lot of space. So, we have fiberglass resin fiberglass mat we have plenty of scotch tape and I'll let you guys know anything else that we end up needing for this job we are gonna get this done real quick here so first things first we are gonna dive into the trunk and start tearing stuff out here um, and get it prepped to start laying the fiberglass so let's do it So this plastic piece, we have to cut this section here to be able to fit the sub box. So everything below the edge of the trunk, we're just going to cut out. Alright guys, we cut this bottom section out of the plastic. Don't need it anymore. Now we have this all opened up and essentially the sub box is gonna sit in this little cavity here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a cardboard template around the whole thing so that we can build it out. Essentially, we need the cardboard to come out to about here and come down and then come out to about here and then down and then line up here. Um, and so we'll basically just build a cardboard template around that so when we lay the fiberglass, yeah, it lays it in the shape that we need. Here's what we have got going in the back of the GTI, Josh's car. So we've laid out a bunch of trash bags. And here we have our templates all built out. This is basically the inner shell of where we're gonna be laying the fiberglass. Um, and you can see everything in here. After taking all that stuff out, everything in here has been laid with blue masking tape. And that's just gonna protect um, everything in there from the fiberglass, so the fiberglass only sticks to the, the blue scotch tape, which you can just peel off once the uh, fiberglass is hardened um, and you pull the box out. This is kind of the shape of what we're gonna get when we lay this fiberglass in here. And it goes all the way back in the corner here, and it's gonna be perfect. And then just cover everything that you don't want fiberglass resin. Um, that's why this looks like a ghost town back here. You know, we've got the trash bags laid out absolutely everywhere because fiberglass just will ruin your day. So yeah, we're gonna get ready to lay the first layer of fiberglass mat. Um, so let's do it. 
and to lay down the fiberglass I just got some foam brushes from Home Depot and we are just using the fiberglass mat and you kind of just want to lay, lay it down uh, in sections as you go and just make sure that you coat every little inch with the fiberglass resin using those foam sponges and then just build up about three to four layers. Chemical reaction of the fiberglass hardener makes it hot. Actually? Pretty crazy. Yep. Dang. That's the whole lot. That's hot. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so after laying down about four layers of the fiberglass mat with the fiberglass resin, we waited about two hours for it to fully cure before we attempted to pull it out. As you can see, we got it out perfectly fine and ripped most of the masking tape off. And here you see me just knocking on it, letting you know that it's hard as a rock. Okay, so we set the sub in the box and made sure that the magnet, we kind of set it in there like, right here in the deepest point and we made sure that it was the magnet wasn't going to touch the back side of the box um, and then we measured about a half inch up from that and we drew a line around the entire box to cut out basically all this rough edge um, and trim up the box to our desired size and it'll be a nice clean edge all the way around now that we've got the sub box nice and trimmed up we have set it on a sheet of MDF here. We did a half inch sheet, well half inch thick sheet of MDF um, and now we are tracing out with the box laid down flat after trimming it uh, and this is how we're going to make the front plate and you can do a full fiberglass front plate of the box if you want to and make it all cool and fancy but I, I like the look of a flat front kind of like a traditional sub box but then the back is all curvy to fit in with the side of the car and you'll have a nice cookie cutter outline. We want to have the plate be able to slide in. So what we're going to do is trace in about a quarter of an inch on each side. All right, we basically traced an inner line there um, in order to make it fit inside of our box. After getting the MDF plate to fit inside of our tub, we then traced out the sub on the MDF plate and then used a glass bowl to trace out the inner line where the sub is going to drop in. It doesn't need to be perfect, um, just close enough. Look like. Is this any larger than? No, that's great. Okay, good. All right, guys, here's the progress we've got so far on the box. We have the face plate all trimmed and cut out. Um, for the most part, it's a tight fit. Um, we have a few air pockets around the edge, which are gonna pose some problems for obviously making a fully sealed sub box. And so what we got is something I used on my, on my uh, to seal up my fenders on my, the wider flares. This Bondo glass, it's really helpful for, especially working with fiberglass. It's basically like, like a Bondo paste, but there's fiberglass strands in it. So it'll be perfect for what we're trying to do here is just fill in all these little gaps here. So. So what we're doing right now is we've measured the floor where the floor is gonna sit. Um, the floor of the trunk, the existing floor right there. Um, we've measured that across um, and that's where we're going to attach the terminals right below there so they'll be hidden underneath. We're drilling out a place for our terminals for the sub and um, the positive and negative terminals um, where they're going to connect. Alright guys, now we are just 
sanding, fine tuning, making sure that terminal can drop in there nice and easy. And then we're gonna sand all the Bondo glass nice and smooth so we can't see it when we lay down all the red leather. Uh, we we kind of just want it to be nice and smooth like the rest of the box. Okay, so now we have some kind of uh, back of the trunk looking felt that you kind of see in the back of the trunk. Sometimes it kind of resembles that stuff. It's just kind of like this gray, heather gray uh, felt. Um, and this is what we're gonna use as a base layer to kind of hide everything um, and kind of just padding up the, the leather just so nothing shows through the leather that we decided to choose to wrap this. And what's cool about you know, making your own sub box is you can put leather over the top. You can put, you know, crocodile print leather if you wanted to, you could get, I, I've seen people, that, you know, fake Louis Vuitton print leather, which looks super bougie, or if you're really bougie, real Louis Vuitton uh, print leather for out. super expensive. And there's the, the suede that everybody likes to do. It's fun, this, this part's fun. You can kind of choose what, what's gonna look good with your build um, and, and, and do it that way. Excuse us for the poor lighting here. Um, we're doing this outside of the garage because it stinks and it's because we don't want to get it everywhere. I mean, it's just dark outside right now, but my new lens, you can see it pretty good, huh? But what we're gonna do, we have some uh, Series 80 3M um, all-purpose adhesive. Well, not all-purpose, it's mainly for vinyls and fabrics. And you're just gonna coat the box and wait till it gets tacky um, and coat the side of the fabric that you want to lay down so that they both join together and there's a really nice hold there. made the hard decision and moved my car out of the garage so I could get to you guys some better lighting. <laughs> We're about to ready to lay down the uh, cherry red vinyl that will go really nice with his accents, the red accents on the Mark 7 GTI. Um, it'll look really, really nice in the all black interior with all the red accents. Uh, but what we, we we got a nice uh, sized piece of uh, the red vinyl, the, the faux red vinyl from Joann's. And we have it just laid out across the garage floor. And we are just gonna do exactly what we did before and we're gonna spray the box, which is now coated in that felt, and just you coat it, you know? Get every single little, little yeah, inch of it. First look. Super sick. It's all coming together, huh? Ooh. It was wooden fiberglass like an hour ago. <laughs> okay guys, we um, used the existing terminals from the sub box that we pulled the, his sub from. Uh, this terminal cup and we put some new wires in there instead of the grandma's lamp cord speaker wires that it came with and she's got a positive and negative running into the back of the sub and we have that all connected up nice and then we are just gonna um, attach it to our little cup here and have this mounted in there and then just make sure the wires are fed back through there and then you can toss your sub in its pole. Okay, so now that we've got everything mounted up to the sub box, it's looking really great. We're just gonna drop it into Josh's car over here because we're gonna need to cut the stock floor pan. So essentially what we're gonna do in this next step is, is measure where we want to put our little stand for the floor panel to rest on since we are no longer using the stock format on, like it covered. is on this side. It doesn't matter. I can get it to focus, there we go. 
this stuff down here, this scaffolding that's gonna hold, I don't know, scaffolding. Just the, the stock placement of the floor. We're gonna need to add a little wood plate, a little wood ledge on the bottom of the sub box so that the floor can sit and he can use it again. Okay, next we're making some brackets for the floor to sit on. And in our case, we have kind of a miscellaneous bucket of things from Home Depot that we haven't used from previous projects. And we found kind of some L style angle brackets in black. They just kind of curve off to one side, but they'll still be a good platform. And we'll just drill a couple of these in and this will be perfect for the floor to sit on. All right guys, we got the sub box put in with the floor and the amp mounted on there as well. I'll give you guys a little look-see inside of here. It looks very OEM plus. We kind of have the amp poking out of the floor here. It's very cool. We did the cherry red to match all the accents on the GTI. All right, now that we've got the sub box all assembled and ready to go, all we need to do is do the wiring, but the sub box is completed. So now we're just gonna get it wired up. We do need to make some adjustments because we're hitting peak it looks like. But here is the finished project. All finished up here. We got the floor flush with the sub box all around the amp there. And we finished it up in the red leather that you saw. And this is basically the whole finished project. It looks super sweet. Love how this turned out. If you guys want to replicate this process and have any questions at all, just make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best that I can. But super practical setup, leaves tons of trunk room and super clean. You have all your wiring down underneath the floor. So it just gives off this really, really nice OEM plus look. Super cool. We basically just copied the setup that we did for my sub box. So this is basically an exact repl replica minus the my amps are, are, are over on this side, whereas we mounted his amp. Um, just on the face of the sub box and have it kind of poking out of the floor. Gives a super cool look to it. And I think this looks very cool, especially in the choice of the red leather, which matches all the accents on the GTI and definitely makes a very, very clean and cool look. But yeah, super sweet. Josh loves it. What do you think of your sub box? Bro, it's so sick. It turned out sweet. He's got it's... blue hair. We don't know what's going on there. Earth's <laughs> here, you know, how it is. But he loves it and that's all that matters. Um, and it turned out super sweet. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like down below and check out all my other content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.